Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with uh, Green Acres Pest Control. I uh, thought I'd come on. I guess you could tell by looking at the video that uh, I'm going to try to explain a little bit about bed bugs tonight. I'll move that over a little bit so it's not so much next to my bed bugs there. <laughs> um, I have released a couple of videos on YouTube about the effectiveness of heat treatments on bed bugs. Uh, you can find them. I'll try to think about it after this video is done live. I'll post some information in the description on the video. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd log in and try to answer a few questions about bed bugs tonight. I get a lot of calls. I actually had a call last night in the middle of the night. Uh, a lady who was having problems with bed bugs. I can't remember exactly what state she called out of, but I uh, I am local to Virginia, and so uh, I you know I can help with anyone that's that's also in Virginia. I'm only licensed to operate, uh, you know, my pesticide license in Virginia. But anyway, what I was going to talk about tonight are uh, how to protect yourself from infesting your home with bed bugs. Now, one thing you need to understand is bed bugs come from different sources. A lot of people assume they come only from hotels. This is not true. It is very common to get them from a hotel, but it's also really common to get them from friends that come to visit your home. Uh, you can get them uh, you know, like I said, if you've got a friend of yours that may have them at their house, they may come and visit and bring bed bugs with them. Um, that's very common. That's also very common with cockroaches. People can come to your home and bring cockroaches as well. I think I, I, I believe I just went over that in a cockroach video I released a few days ago. But um, another way you can get bed bugs is from bats. Now, bat bugs and bed bugs are two different things. They are only really distinguishable under a microscope. It has to do with the way the hairs grow on their body. But uh, bat bugs can infest your home much in the same way bed bugs do. And if you get bats in your attic or uh, you know living in your wall voids, which they will do that as well, they will uh, they can infest your home with you know bat bugs. Now. In my opinion, if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. And so, because bed bugs feed off of you, uh, bat bugs feed off of you as well, and they look almost identical, unless, you know, to the naked eye anyway, I, uh, I just, you know, treat them the same way. They're basically the same type of beast that you're dealing with. And they also have the same immunities as bed bugs do with pesticides. Um, one way you you want to check when you go to the uh, when you when you go out and you're at a hotel room, um, what I always advise people to do is check around your mattresses. Now let's see, yeah, there we go. There's a good picture right there. Um, let me make that bigger for you so you can see it. Now around the seams here, I don't know. I don't think you can see my cursor. Um, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it won't let me do that. All right, well anyway, up around these seams here, you got these little black dots. Those are uh, bed bug blood spots. You've got them down here too. Actually, uh, on the bottom side beneath the, uh, you know, the little tag there, um, to the far left, there's a little brown speck in there. Yeah, I should have circled that, but uh, there's an actual live bed bug right there in that little mess. Looks like pepper flakes all over the mattress. Um, that's a real common sign. Sometimes you don't see that. Sometimes it's just a real light, like you have to lift the seam up to actually find the, the spots. If it's a real mild case, this is a little heavier case than what uh, you know, you'll know you find when they first get started in your home. Uh, that right there is more like, you know, what have I done? Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Uh, that right there is more like what you're more likely to see. Typically that will be up around your headboard. Uh, I find that that's, that's a worse place to find the bed bug infestations. They like to live around your headboard. People will typically complain uh, to me 
that, oh, I've been bit on my arm, they're getting on my arms, uh, they're getting on my legs, you know, typically around footboards and headboards, they will live around your footboard and your headboard. Now, this picture here, let me go ahead and close this down and I'll make these bed bugs a little bigger for you to see. Um, this is a really nice picture. It's a really good detailed picture of, of, a, of a cluster of them. Um, now these have been fed a blood meal. You could tell because they're red. Now the ones that are a lighter color, they don't have as much blood in them and they've digested most of the blood. But uh, these are full grown adult bed bugs. Now in the mix here, there are some nymphs, some, some uh, you know, younger bed bugs. But for the most part, these are mostly adults. Uh, they're about the size of an apple seed. You can't really tell from this picture, but I just thought that was a really good detailed picture of bed bugs, what they look like, how you can distinguish them if you ever find them on your uh, mattress, if you've ever found them on. I'll tell you, they live around the sofa. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Let me see. Now, I did this the other night too. Let me see if I can find bed bugs on a sofa. Because I just saw this. I wish I had a taken a picture with my phone the other day. But this is a really good... Oh, yeah. This is a good one right here. Let me grab this picture here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because the thing about bed bugs... Now, it's, it's a... In my opinion, it's a pretty crappy name <laughs> I mean, to call them bed bugs because yes while they do live on your bed they will also live on your sofa they will live other rooms of the house they they feed at night so typically people are in bed asleep at night so that's why you know people tend to call them bed bugs they really are uh you know they will live in other rooms of the house not just on your beds I have found them in closets. I have found them in bathrooms. You know, one a real common way uh, people will tell you. Now, here, here's this picture right here. Let me bring this up for you and show you right here. This is the seam of a sofa where you see the staples where it was holding the fabric to the actual sofa frame. Uh, you can see where the bed bugs have been living around that seam. See, there's one live. And that gives you a real good idea about the size of a bed bug. I mean, they are big enough to see. You can see them. And so it's not it, you know, not something you can't see. You can see that. That's that's visible. You'll see them walking around and crawling. And then they're towards the bottom of a lighter color, younger one. But, uh, yeah, they will live right around your seams where you tear your uh, that little piece of felt you know right there that little strip holding that felt on they'll live around that that's a real common place to find them uh, I'll go ahead and, and close that off let me see here there we go but um like I said you, you uh, check around your beds when you go to a hotel what I advise a lot of my customers to do I, I have uh, a lot of people who call me for bed bugs and after I've treated their home and I've gotten rid of their problem, they're like, you know, we really don't want to have this happen again. What can we do to avoid this situation in the future? I had one customer, she worked for an auditor, and so she uh, she audited people, businesses, that's what she did for a living. She was uh, actually out towards, uh, she was out working on a business, and they always put her in a hotel and that's how she brought them home to her house in the first place was the hotel and she explained to me she said you know i've got a big problem because i mean this is my job this is my way of life what do i do when i have to go out of town i'm going to all these places and i don't want to bring these things home again they're really expensive to get rid of it's a lot it's a big ordeal having to tear apart my beds all the time it's really you know it's it's a big deal to me and so i explained to her i said what you do is if you go to a hotel and you check those places like I showed you uh, you know around the corners of the mattress there uh, in the seams uh, you know behind that tag you know I would actually lift that tag up I guarantee you there's some bed bug spots behind that tag too maybe even some live bed bugs um, I, I tell people you know don't be ashamed pull the sheet back look underneath the the uh, the Pick a mattress up. Look under the mattress between the mattress and the box spring. It's your money. You have to pay to stay there. 
And if you find that there are bed bugs on that mattress, you go down to the management and you tell them you demand another room. You, uh, you know, you explain to them, look, this room has bed bugs. I'm not sleeping in it. And don't sleep in any rooms neighboring that bedroom either. Now, you could stay at the hotel more than likely if one room has bed bugs. Not all the rooms are going to have bed bugs because they're pretty, uh, you know, I mean, all right, let, let's use this scenario. Somebody comes to a hotel. They have bed bugs at their home. Their bed bugs are in their luggage. They bring their luggage into the hotel room. They unpack all of their clothing and everything, and they stay the night. They get up the next morning, they pack their luggage, and they leave, but they leave bed bugs behind. The bed bugs get on the bed. They're already on the bed because they bit them in the night. All right, so, or they may stay there a couple nights. Either way, the bed bugs are in that room. The likeliness they're in every room of the hotel is pretty slim because, you know, those people just brought those bugs in that night. And that's not necessarily the hotel's you know fault either it's just you know they don't know if the people have bed bugs in their home or not and so what i always recommend people do is go to the management demand another room tell them look i'm not sleeping in this room it's filthy it's got bed bugs i don't want to take them home they're too expensive and uh most hotels if not all hotels are accommodating you know they'll work with you and if not uh you know social media is big nowadays you know get on there talk about them uh leave you know don't stay you don't have to stay you know leave that hotel go to another hotel you know call the local news organization tell them what you've been through you know explain to people if they're not going to accommodate you because they have bed bugs in their uh hotel i would i would complain i would really let your voice be heard because someone needs to know about it otherwise someone else is going to get infested too and so that's just your i feel like that was is almost like your duty is just as an american <laughs> or you know any any other nationality for that reason you know this is youtube this isn't america this is youtube so but um anyway yeah just just you know look around your mattresses make sure they're not you know crawling around on it make sure it doesn't have any bed bugs on it I'll tell you another place you can look too and let me see if I can find a picture here you know the the little corners of a box spring have uh, most of them have little protector little pieces of plastic and uh, if you peel back that little plastic corner uh, let me see here man you know, Google's really, really good most of the time, but that's just a really odd thing for someone to take a picture of. Um, but anyway, those little those little corner protectors on the corner of your box spring, if you will check those out, look at those, uh, peel them back and look behind them, a lot of times that's where uh, bed bugs like to live. You can find their casings you can find eggs you can find uh, live bed bugs there it's far enough away from you to where they feel safe and so they'll live down in those little crevices and those cracks and around those pieces of plastic and so i peel that back too. check there uh check on the headboard if it's not attached to the wall you know a lot of hotels the, the headboard's actually screwed to the wall itself um so you know check the rails that on the bed frame you know see if there's any bed bugs there be thorough you know i know it's a lot of extra work and you probably get to the hotel and you're tired and you want to go to bed but you don't want bed bugs in your home you don't want you know to spend thousands of dollars trying to get rid of these creatures that are eating you alive in the bed at night you don't want them and so uh that's what i recommend doing and so uh but anyway uh check out my other videos i've got a couple up there uh, I'm not really getting any questions tonight. Um, I'm always, just so you know, I am always open for questions. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm on here. I am, uh, you know, making myself available to everyone. Uh, you're more than willing, more than, more than welcome to ask me any question about anything. Yeah, I understand that I'm talking about bed bugs tonight, but I talk about whatever people want to talk to me about. 
You know, if, if you have any questions about cockroaches, if you have questions about fleas, if you've had problems in the past where, you know, other exterminators haven't been able to get rid of your problem, uh, don't, don't hesitate to ask me. Maybe I can give you some advice, uh, try to help you uh, find someone that can, you know, help you with your problem. I've got lots, yeah, I've got over 28 years of experience in the pest control industry. And so, uh, you know, like I said, I'm here to help and uh like and subscribe to my channel hit that little bell so you can get notifications and you know when i'm updating my live stream because uh, i know this is a new thing for me lately I've, i just decided tonight to do a live stream this is completely improv but uh you know I've, I've had just in the last three days alone i've had four people ask me about bed bugs and and what i can do to help and uh I actually just uh, got done sending a few messages to some friends of mine over on Facebook who like me on Facebook, which I'm over there too. You can send me messages there if you if you'd rather not post in the live chat. I you know I can be uh, discreet. You don't have to you know let everybody know. Hey, I got bugs in my house. How do I kill these things? Or you know I mean I don't want you to feel out of place. I don't want you to feel. I know a lot of a lot of people there is a stigma with bugs people think yeah I've got bugs everybody's gonna think I'm nasty or you know bugs don't discriminate they don't care if you're clean they don't care if you're filthy they don't care they just want to live with you they want to come in your home and they want to cause you problems so what I recommend is just, you know, you can send me a message, you can private message me. I'm not really sure how to get private messages on YouTube. I'm pretty new to this whole live streaming thing, but I have heard that people will do that from time to time. Uh, I might try to run maybe a Google Hangouts or something so you can actually come on if you've got a camera, talk to me, and uh, we can discuss things face to face if you'd like. But, um,. I'm always open to phone calls. I got my, you know, my webpage is greenacrespc.com. It's right up there on my live stream. And so if you want to go and check me out there, you can. I'm on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. I think I'm on Twitter. I don't know. My wife handles that, so go figure. <laughs> I mean, I'm local. I'm just a family guy. It's just me and my family. It's all that runs my business. So uh, I'm me and my wife. We, we do it all. So if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm here for, for you, you know. Even if you just need to uh, try to find somebody local, I can help you with that too. Um, and I can give you some ideas on, on how to help you deal with your problems. You know, I've, I've uh, written a few files. I've got some some kind of self-help kind of things. If you, if you feel like you want to be able to try to get rid of bed bugs yourself, you can send me a message and I can help you out there if, if I can. Uh, I want to try to help everybody I can. That's why I'm here. So, uh, you know, y'all have a, a great evening. Enjoy your, the rest of your week. Happy Hump Day. It's Wednesday and uh, Friday's almost here. And I may do another one of these shows tomorrow night. My, uh, my family, they, they, uh, I've, I've got some work to do. I've got a lot of, lot of work I got to do. So, and my, my wife had to go out of town to visit with her family. So I'm here for a couple days by myself. So I'm gonna probably get on here and talk to myself, cause, uh, or y'all, y'all can talk to me if you want, and uh, we'll get some stuff settled and, and try to help you out. So, uh, y'all have a great evening, and I'm gonna try not to cut the end of my video off like I did last time. Y'all have a y'all have a good night. Like me on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube, and uh, you know comment if you have any ideas or anything you'd like me to do a video on. I think my next one's gonna be about cockroaches to help you kind of distinguish them apart, give you some pictures and show you what they look like. And uh, don't hesitate if you want, you can send me some uh, questions on Facebook. You can send me private messages on YouTube or uh, however you want to do it that's fine with me and I can address your questions in a later time but this is a live show I like people to contact and actually ask live so that uh, we can try to settle these problems right now right on the video so everybody that watches will understand uh, you know how to fix their problems but if you if you're shy and you'd rather just send me a me private message then I'll answer that too y'all have a great evening and uh, good night